Well, former White House trade advisor Peter Navarro's prison sentence has begun. Navarro was Donald Trump's close aide during the latter's presidential term. Now, before turning himself in, Trump's ex-aide was seen addressing the media in Miami, accusing the quote-unquote partisan weaponization of the country's judicial system. Navarro also lashed out at the Democrats for prosecuting him in what he calls an absurd case. I'm pissed. That's what I'm feeling right now. But I'm also afraid of only one thing. I'm afraid for this country because this, what they're doing, should have a chilling effect on every American, regardless of their party. If they come for me, they can come for you. The former aide is currently serving a four-month prison sentence for his refusal to cooperate with the congressional investigation into the Capitol Hill riots on January 6, 2021. This after a jury convicted Navarro last September of two misdemeanor counts of contempt of Congress for defying the committee's subpoena. Now, with the Supreme Court denying his request to avoid jail time, Navarro becomes the first senior member of the Trump administration to be imprisoned for actions related to the attempt to overturn the former president's 2020 election loss. Now, to remind the viewers of what happened on January 6, more than three years ago, hundreds of Trump supporters had stormed to Capitol Hill on a cold January morning in 2021, to prevent the Congress from certifying Biden's 2020 victory over the Republican leader. For more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York. Listen to this. By reporting to federal prison in Miami, Peter Navarro makes history as the first former White House official to be imprisoned for a contempt of Congress, a conviction. And Navarro's punishment for evading a House probe will boost the leverage lawmakers from both parties have to secure cooperation in their investigations moving forward. For decades, the two branches of government have engaged in a game of chicken over the protection that surrounds the presidency and how Congress enforces subpoenas. There have been incentives from both sides to negotiate a deal rather than take the issue to court. In this case, the Justice Department took the uncommon step of prosecuting a former White House official. Now, the question is whether or not this move by the Justice Department opened a can of worms for retaliatory measures. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.